If I think about the past year and how much that stress has impacted me, body, mind, and soul, today we are gonna be jumping into our wellness planning because I wanna take care of my body this year. You know, the stress, it impacts us head to toe. It can cause those headaches and stomach aches. It can cause a disruption in sleep. It can change what we're craving in the sugars that I've been going for. It makes aches, it makes headaches. It makes us have brain fog, difficulty concentrating, irritable and mood swings, lethargic pain in different parts of our body. And so our body is giving us these signals. Hey, I don't feel well, I need some changes. And that's what we're gonna do together is look at what are the ways when you think about a wellness plan, how could you be the best you in 2022? Here we go. Hi friends, welcome back to Tranquility Moms. My name is Catherine. I am one of the moms on this incredible team of health practitioners and Christian moms. We are on a mission to recharge moms in body and mind and soul. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and ring the little bell so you don't miss any of the new videos that come out. We put out weekly videos about family and faith, wellness and travel. We also have a great blog with weekly posts and we're on Facebook and Instagram. I would definitely consider myself a planner and it's fun as we were talking on the team, myself and Shayla and Don, you know, it, it, each of us has different strengths as to how much we plan ahead. And then I'm always the anxious one that like, why didn't those plans work out? <laughs> I like the details. I like to know ahead what I'm working on and how it's all going to turn out. Well, I definitely learned in 2020 and 2021 how to be more flexible that you can't plan at all. But a plan is that general framework that at least guides us back onto the path. And that's what we're going to work on today, moms. If you have a general plan written down in your notebook, right? We've been using our beautiful Tranquility Notebook, blank pages. Grab it in our Amazon shop. My daughter and I designed it. It's so pretty. It's so easy to just sit down with that notebook and write down what is it that I want to work on this year? What has been happening in my body? So that's my first tip for you is even checking in with where are you at in your body, right? How, start from the head. Is your head, your eyes, your teeth, your ears, headaches, any of those giving you problems? Go down to your thoracic cavity, go down to your, your body and your abdomen. I mean, how's your breathing in your lungs? Did you or your family get COVID this past year? Are you still recovering? Arms, are you getting any tingling? Having any numbness? Are you having any aches? Are you not working out? Those muscles in your shoulders enough? I know I hold my tension up in my shoulders, totally. Um, your stomach, right? As an anxiety person, my anxiousness shows up right in my stomach. Oof, overproducing all of that acid and bile, giving me stomach aches, giving me GI distress. So that's something I say, okay, when I have to set my goals, that's one area I definitely need to address. Um, reproductively, have you just had a baby? Are you planning uh, fertility for this upcoming year? Are you going for regular pap smears? Are you going for regular mammograms, right? Check those girls. Always lumps and bumps are important to report right away. How's your back doing? Are you tense and tight? Are you not stretching? I love my yoga to just get my body and my muscles to loosen up. Now we're down to the pelvis. Again, urinary and bowel. They are such good indicators of a problem, right? So check in with how often you're going to the bathroom, too much, too little. Is your stool consistent? Is it hard and you're constipated? Is it too loose and you need more fiber? What are some of the things that that's indicating to you? Legs to toes, all right, bottom of the body. 
any aches and pains, any old injuries flaring up. A lot of us are under so much stress that old injuries, the cortisol goes right to those zones and oh, that creaky knee, it's acting up again. I did a video on rating how low your battery has gotten, right? I use that battery analogy a lot because when we talk about recharging you to that five, to that excellent, check out the video because I, I really walked you through. Are you at a one battery? Is it gotten really low that your whole body is acting out, your mind is foggy and distracted and irritable and mood swings. Spiritually, you're just disconnected. You know, the prayers, if you remember to pray, they just feel empty and you feel very lost in this journey of motherhood. Are you at a three and you'd say, well, my battery's fair in its energy. I'm not completely drained and wiped out, but Oh, if I try to get back to my plan and then I fall back off of it. Or I, you know, I know that my body has got some aches and pains, but I'll get to those later, right? I've put that off. Or maybe in your mind, you say, I started some journaling and I was writing stuff down uh, and then I got lost and I didn't keep up with it. And now I'm holding it all and it's staying and waking me up at 2 a.m., or is it something that you say, I'm at, I'm getting really close to that five, but I need to do my wellness planning to start off the year so that I've got a guide for me that body, my health, my wellness is something that I keep managing. I keep going back and focusing on. And so many of the moms I work with in counseling, we talk about this all, or, all the time, right? It's an all or nothing model. Um, I'm all, I'm completely working on my body and getting to the gym and taking classes and morning walks and drinking lots of glasses of water and I'm eating all the fruits and vegetables that I'm supposed to. And then like somebody gets sick in the house and you're up and you're taking care of them and you're so disrupted and then you're like, oh, nothing. Now I'm doing none of that plan. <laughs> it's all out the window completely. Well, when it is written down, when it is something that you have found the steps that work best for you to hit those problem areas, you are going to see that it's easier to get back on the horse. It is easier to get back into that plan. So now that you have done that head to toe check, what am I even trying to improve about my body? I want you to write down in your notebook, either your tranquility notebook or a blank notebook that you're using for this project for yourself. Write down just three areas you want to improve. That's it. I want more energy in the afternoon. I want my lower back to stop hurting. I want my knee to stop clicking. I need to go get that checked out. I've been putting off that appointment. I need to go and see the dentist. I know that my mouth is bothering me and I'm, I'm keeping on top of the pain or chewing only on one side but I've been really avoiding getting and really solving the dental problem. I need to get to the gynecologist. It's been a couple of years because of the pandemic. I haven't even gotten to that appointment. Okay, write down those three areas that you know you want to work on. Because even in the LEANS model, right, we talk about L-E-A-N-S. Is it something about your whole lifestyle that needs to shift? You say, I, I need to do less alcohol. I need to do better mindset of where I'm at. My lifestyle is so chaotic. I'm juggling way too many things on my plate. I've overcommitted myself in way too many areas. And you say, I really need to make that lifestyle change. Dr. Sears, right? That's where I got my health coaching certificate, his wellness institute. He came up with that L-E-A-N and then I added the S. So maybe your wellness that you want to improve is in your lifestyle. Or what if it's in exercise? You just know you are not moving enough. And I'm going to pull up my book here because this is my, <clears throat> my go-to. I have been using this book, the Dr. Sears T5 Wellness Plan. I've got notes in it and marks. Wonderful book by him and his daughter, one of his daughters, Erin. And, you know, five changes in five weeks. This is really body and mind, truly. And talking about exercise in ways that 
I wasn't even thinking about how can I just stand in the kitchen and do some leg lifts? Um, how can I be doing bath time and do some push-offs off the tub? I wasn't even thinking about creative ways. I keep thinking, oh, I need to go take a special class and I need to organize, you know, a half hour out of my entire day to do this. And they come up with some wonderful tools and techniques of getting the brain to use its own pharmacy because you're moving the blood flow. You are moving the chemicals around by even the smallest types of exercise. And then they do. She's got pictures in the back of Erin doing stretches and Pilates and poses and yoga. And I think, great, great. I can follow that. I can definitely um, use those to move my body around. Attitude is the A. What's the lens that you're looking through? Are you pulling in all of that negativity on social media, all of that ugh, that, that this person's complaining and that person's upset and that person's reading the politics and that person made that decision and that person's not making that decision and that person's got a problem with their work and this problem's got a problem with the school. And yes, yes, I, hey, we are living in really high stressful times, but we get to select the lens. We get to select what we let in. If we set up boundaries with the toxic people in our lives, and I've done some videos on how to do that, if we are limiting our social media digestion, that like, I'm not even gonna take it in. I'm not even gonna absorb any of that negativity and all those toxic arguments that are going on right now. Is my attitude about gratitude, right? I did a video on that. Am I really seeking to find the goodness in my husband, the goodness in the kids, the goodness in my community, because God has that goodness. And he says, it is still happening. It is still out there. You've got to look for it. N in the model is your nutrition. And this may be one of your biggest goals for your wellness planning. You may say, I want to focus on what I'm putting into my body. You are what you eat, Dr. Daniel Amen says. You know, you are what you eat, yes. Am I eating you know, processed foods and everything from the center of the grocery store? Or am I walking the edge of the grocery store and getting the purest foods? Am I getting the foods that aren't chemically treated? Am I focusing on the produce section and really paying attention to all of the nutrients that are in those fruits, the berries, how important they are, uh, making sure that I'm using my own ingredients. I'm going to put the cookbook link down below to Laura Fuentes, right? She's from Mama Bowls and she does her clean treats cookbook. Great. So that you are paying attention to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, and this book, again, has some excellent recipes. He talks about the five S's, the smoothies, the, the salmon, you know, paying attention to what you are putting in and how you're getting the best nutrients that you can. Or maybe it's the S that we've added onto that model, Tranquility Moms. We see that spirituality is a huge piece of your wellness. You can take care of your body, you can put attention to your mind, but if we don't add in that spirituality, we are missing a key component of how you are going to get to your optimal well-being in 2022. All right, you have rated yourself in where you are in that battery level. Are you a drained, weary mom right now? Are you excellent and recharged and finding your own tranquility? You've also looked at what part of the model is going to be part of your planning so that you're writing down in your notebook what lifestyle, exercise, attitude, nutrition, and spirituality areas that you can work on. Lastly, let's pull together really to put together any solid plan is to be realistic. What times of day are you going to be doing your wellness plan? What, how often, is it every day? Is it every other day? Are you gonna start out slow at once a week? Are you going to add in times in the morning and times in the afternoon, right? Part of the Dr. Sears model, he talks about how you could sprinkle this in all times of the day. It is not just at one locked in, I have to commit to this exact window. That way you are really addressing that you have taken care of yourself on and off so that if you get interruptions, that's okay, just jump back on in the next hour of the day. 
So picking your time of day. Lastly, who is your accountability person? Who keeps you honest and true? And who are you sharing in this journey with? Because we have read and the research shows over and over again, if you're going to work on the wellness of your body this year, it's key that you're talking to somebody about it and they're helping to keep you accountable. Yes, I did that walk today. Yes, I drank those extra ounces of water today. Yes, I sat in quiet today, if that's your commitment. That then, even that simple text to each other, helps each other to say, yeah, oh, if I didn't do it, I have to tell her, I have to say I didn't do it, and oh, okay, but I'm going to get back on it. This is how I'm going to be motivated. This is how I'm going to set up my plan. You have got this, moms. 2022 is gonna be the best you. Recharged, finding your joy, and knowing how to get your rest. That way your family and your faith, your travel and your wellness can all be enjoyed this year. If you have any comments, put them down below. We love when we exchange ideas, talking about what you're doing with this wellness plan. If you have questions or you're stuck on any areas of designing your plan, um, now that you've kind of asked yourself some of these questions, you're ready to get started. My name is Katherine Gardner. I am a mom of two. I am a therapist to moms and I am a certified health coach. I'm here on the Tranquility Moms team with Shayla and Dawn. We are proud to work with you moms to recharge you body, mind, and soul. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. That's the best compliment that you can give to us. And today, take care of yourself.